Good afternoon. Christmas has come early for thousands of mortgage holders across the country with the Reserve Bank slashing official interest rates. For more on this, we're joined by political reporter Alex Hart in Canberra. Good afternoon, Alex. How much relief will they get? Afternoon, Talitha. Well, economists were divided about whether we'd see a cut today or early in the new year, but the Reserve Bank has decided not to play Scrooge. Its quarter of a percent cut is the second in two months, taking the official rate down to four and a quarter percent. For homeowners with a $200,000 mortgage, it'll save them just over $30 a month, almost $50 a month on a $300,000 loan, and around $65 for a $400,000 loan. Of course, they'll only get that full benefit if the big banks pass on today's official cut to customers in full. The Bank of Queensland did that immediately. Pressure is now on from the government and business groups for the other banks to follow suit. I would want to see that passed on in full by the Australian banks. There is no reason for it not to be passed on in full. And there's no reason by close of business tonight why all the major banks cannot have adjusted their variable home loan rates and also their business lending rates. Many families and small businesses uh, will be very angry if there is not a full pass through of this rate cut. Well, let's hope the banks are listening. Alex, are we likely to see more rate cuts in the new year? Talitha, that will depend on how events unfold overseas. The RBA says it is concerned about the Eurozone crisis and if a solution's not found to the debt problems there and consumers continue to be cautious about their spending here, then it is likely that we'll see more cuts next year. So they won't meet in January. Their next meeting will now be in February. And the fact that they've cut rates now doesn't preclude another rate cut in February or March of next year, but certainly some very good news for people as we head into Christmas. And the next big uh, decision will be how homeowners spend that extra money, Talitha. I'm sure they'll manage. Thank you, Alex.